Superposition is a technique for analyzing linear circuits that enables you to figure out where voltages come from. Let's consider analyzing this two-loop circuit using superposition. We have two sources and we need to identify currents around each of these two loops but I'm actually going to focus on the main node of interest which is this junction right here and I'm going to call this voltage V and we can think about that as being with respect to that reference voltage or if you like you can just say let's call that voltage V. So the superposition method says that we can find the voltage V by adding up the response due to each source. So we're going to call those two voltages V1 and V2. V1 is the response due to the 14 volt source. And V2 is the response due to the 8 volt source. How do we find those responses? The method is to think about the circuit response by turning off all of the sources except the one you're interested in and proceeding. So let's start by solving for V1. Here, later on, we'll solve for V2 over here. V1 is the response due to the 14 volt source, so we're going to turn the 8 volt source off. So let me redraw the circuit. I'll leave everything alone except that the 8 volt source we turned off, so its voltage will be set to zero, which means that it becomes a short circuit or a wire. And in this circuit, that voltage is V1. This voltage is still 14. Let's label the resistor values, relabel the resistor values. Now, temporarily omit the ohm symbol just to keep the notation a little bit simpler. Those are our resistor values. Now in this simplified circuit, that's the voltage V1 in this new circuit. You can solve for V1 by using the voltage divider rule. The equation will go something like this. V1 is some fraction of 14. That fraction is the resistor that I see across this voltage, which is 2 in parallel with 5. And at that resistor 2 in parallel with 5, the voltage actually has to go through across both the 1 ohm resistor and the 3 ohm resistor. As an aside over here, we can calculate 2 in parallel with 5 is 10 sevenths. And the end result, after a little bit of algebra, is that V1 is 140 over 38 volts. All right, let's proceed to analyzing for V2. Again, we'll leave the circuit alone except that we're going to replace, let me draw the resistors first, we'll replace the 14 volt source by turning it off, setting it to zero, and we'll leave the 8 volt source as it is. The voltage we're solving for is this voltage, V2. Equation for V2 again is using the voltage divider rule some fraction of our source voltage 8 in this case the voltage is across the 1 plus 4 ohm resistor so 5 and in this case the other resistor is 2 in parallel 
with four. Two in parallel with four is eight sixths. And again, after some algebra, we find that V2 is 240 over 38. Coming back to the original equation, V1, 140 over 38. V2 is 240 thirty-eighths leading to 380 thirty-eighths or 10 volts. At that point we can solve for the other quantities. That current must be 2 amps because we have a 10 volt voltage across 5 ohms. That current is the voltage difference is 2 volts so that difference ha that current has to be 1. That means that that current has to be 3. We can solve for the other voltages at this point. That voltage must be 9. This current is flowing up so that voltage will be 3 amps through 1 ohm is 3 volts. That's superposition. The great thing about superposition is it tells you not just what the voltages are, but where they come from.